Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome. Welcome to evening prayer on this Wednesday evening, Wednesday the 6th of May. As always, it's great if you can join us as we pray together, whether you're watching live or on the recording later on. It's really wonderful that you can join us for prayer. We are uh, halfway through the week. Uh, I hope your week is going well. And uh, as always, we come together to pray, to hear God's word, to pray for people and situations that are on our heart and to join with one another in the power of the Holy Spirit to receive from God what he wants to give us, uh, his strength, his direction, his peace. Let's take a moment to pray at the beginning of our prayers, uh, to still our hearts, to be quiet, and then we'll begin. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in times of trouble. And we turn to you now as our refuge, as our strength, and we bring people and situations before you. Help us to hear what you want to say to us. Help us to be filled once again with your Holy Spirit. Help us to pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. In your resurrection, O oh Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Sovereign Lord, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. To you be glory and praise forever. From the deep waters of death, you brought your people to new birth by raising your son to life in triumph. Through him, dark death has been destroyed and radiant life is everywhere restored. As you call us out of darkness into his marvellous light, may our lives reflect his glory and our lips repeat the endless song. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. <coughs> Amen. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Two psalms this evening, Psalm number 47 and 48. So Psalm 47. Clap your hands, all you nations. Shout to God with cries of joy. For the Lord Most High is awesome, the great King over all the earth. He subdued nations under us, peoples under our feet. He chose our inheritance for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he loved. God has ascended amid shouts of joy. The Lord, amid the sounding of trumpets, sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises, for God is the King of all the earth. Sing to him a psalm of praise. God reigns over the nations. God is seated on his holy throne. The nobles of the nations assemble as the people of the God of Abraham, for the kings of the earth belong to God. He is greatly exalted. And Psalm 48. Psalm 48. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. In the city of our God, his holy mountain. Beautiful in its loftiness, the joy of the whole earth. 
like the heights of Zaphon is Mount Zion, the city of the great king. God is in her citadels. He has shown himself to be her fortress. When the kings joined forces, when they advanced together, they saw her and were astounded. They fled in terror. Trembling seized them there, pain like that of a woman in labour. You destroyed them like ships of Tarshish, shattered by an east wind. As we have heard, so we have seen. In the city of the Lord Almighty, in the city of our God, God makes her secure forever. Within your temple, O God, we meditate on your unfailing love. Like your name, O God, your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with righteousness. Mount Zion rejoices. The villages of Judah are glad because of your judgments. Walk about Zion, go round her, count her towers, consider well her ramparts, view her citadels, that you may tell of them to the next generation. For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even to the end. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Old Testament reading continues in the book of Deuteronomy. That's the fifth book of the Bible. Deuteronomy chapter 10, starting at verse 12. And now, Israel, what does the Lord your God ask of you but to fear the Lord your God, to walk in obedience to him, to love him, to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and to observe the Lord's commands and decrees that I am giving you today for your own good? To the Lord your God belong the heavens, even the highest heavens, the earth and everything in it. Yet the Lord set his affection on your ancestors and loved them. And he chose you, their descendants, above all the nations, as it is today. Circumcise your hearts, therefore, and do not be stiff-necked any longer. For the Lord your God is God of gods and Lord of lords, the great God, mighty and awesome, who shows no partiality and accepts no bribes. He defends the cause of the fatherless and the widow and loves the foreigner residing among you, giving them food and clothing. And you are to love those who are foreigners, for you yourselves were foreigners in Egypt. Fear the Lord your God and serve him. Hold fast to him and take your oaths in his name. He is your praise. He is your God who performed for you those great and awesome wonders you saw with your own eyes. Your ancestors who went down into Egypt were 70 in all. And now the Lord your God has made you as numerous as the stars in the sky. The New Testament reading continues in Paul's letter to the Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 5, verses 1 to 14. Ephesians 5, 1 to 14. Follow God's example, therefore, as dearly loved children, and live a life of love just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. But among you there must not even be a hint of sexual immorality, or of any kind of impurity, or of greed, because these are improper for God's holy people. Nor should there be obscenity, foolish talk, or coarse joking which are out of place, but rather thanksgiving. For of this you can be sure, no immoral, impure or greedy person, 
such a person is an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of such things God's wrath comes on those who are disobedient. Therefore do not be partners with them. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light, for the fruit of the light consists in all goodness, righteousness and truth. And find out what pleases the Lord. Have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. It is shameful even to mention what the disobedient do in secret, but everything exposed by the light becomes visible, and everything that is illuminated becomes a light. This is why it is said, wake up sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. He has become my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. The Song of Mary, sometimes called the Magnificat. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors and to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Hallelujah. So we come to our prayers of intercession. Continue to pray for Kevin's dad in hospital. And we thank you that he is responding to medication. Be with him and all the family, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, today I want to pray for all funeral directors and particularly those in this area. Uh, they are in many ways on the front line of this crisis and it's been a stressful uh, and challenging time for them. We thank you that the uh, curve seems to have turned, that we seem to have entered a, a, a new phase with uh, COVID patients in hospital going down and the death rate going down. But we do continue to pray for, pray for all of our funeral directors. We pray for those who work at Henry Ison's on Binley Road. Pray for those who work for the co-op in Anstey Road. Pray for uh, those who work at Hackett's and at Grimmett and Tim's and at Pargeter's all the funeral directors in our city. Be with them, give them your strength. And as they do their work, may they do it in your name and uh, with a sense of you being with them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
Loving God, we continue to pray for all of our local care homes, for the residents and for the staff. We especially pray for any residents who are poorly, and we pray for those who are acutely feeling isolated um, because they can't see their families. Lord, bring your comfort as only you can. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we continue to pray for all those who are sick, particularly those affected by this virus. We ask for your healing and your strength for those known to us, friends and neighbours, family members, for those on our sick list at St Bartholomew's, for those on the email prayer list that we've been praying for, for uh, relatives of church members, for anyone else we know. And in a moment of quiet, maybe lift up to God, anyone else who's on your heart. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we continue to pray for the relatives of those who have recently died, and especially those whose funerals fall at this time. We pray for the family of the man whose funeral I took today at Canley, and any other who are mourning, others who are mourning the loss of their loved ones. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, I want to pray for truth in our media, uh, for reporting to be done as best as can objectively and truthfully. And I pray for truth in social media and for our government to be led by the truth. And we pray for your guidance particularly as they seek to make the steps out of the lockdown. Give them your wisdom, we pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The collect, the special prayer for today. Almighty God, whose Son, Jesus Christ, is the resurrection and the life. Raise us who trust in him from the death of sin to the life of righteousness, that we may seek those things which are above, where he reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Rejoicing in God's new creation as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining with us in prayer. Have a good evening. See you tomorrow morning at 8.15 for morning prayer. Good night. God bless.